Andy here. Today we have a mystery horror book haul. So what happened was uh, I wanted to go to the bookstore to pick up a few new books because I have something that I want to do on my other channel, uh, which will be linked down below as well with my Instagram and my uh, original fiction. You can find that all down there if you're interested. Anyways, so I wanted to go to pick out a few books. My local bookstore is open, but they only allow a few guests in at a time. You have to wear gloves and a mask and they don't take any new donations. So they haven't taken any donations for this entire year. So I feel really safe going in there. However, I wear glasses and if any of you guys wear glasses, you guys probably know it's really hard to wear glasses and a mask at the same time. And my glasses are all messed up and they just fall right off every time I wear a mask. The whole point of this being is that I asked my husband like, hey, will you just run into the bookstore and grab a few horror books for me? And he's like, yeah, sure. He usually does a pretty good job of this. So I don't know, I think we'll find some interesting finds. I haven't looked at them yet. They're right here, but I don't have my glasses on so I can't even see them. So let's just get into it. There's only like five books. It's a really small haul, but I thought it would be kind of fun to just show you what he picked out. Okay, so the first one is called The Girl on the Train. This is by Paula Hawkins. This was actually a number one New York Times bestseller, soon to be a motion picture. So that's pretty cool. Each day the same, Rachel takes the same com uh, computer, computer, commuter train every morning and night, but then she sees something shocking. Unable to keep it to herself, Rachel goes to the police, but is she really uh, as unreliable? <laughs> But is she really as unreliable as they say? So this was $5. It's gonna be a movie, or maybe it already is a movie, I don't know. So I don't know, sounds interesting. Uh, exactly the kind of novels that I've been into right now. I've really been going for like the mystery, kind of figuring out what's gonna happen kind of novels lately. So I'm really excited to read this, so that's cool. Next up we have Fiona Barton's The Window. A lot of female horror writers, I like it, I like it. And if you liked Gone Girl and The Girl on the Train, that's weird, <laughs> then you might want to pick up The Window. Engrossing Suspenseful, says Stephen King. So that's kind of weird that this one referenced this one. I really am curious if my husband knew that. I'm gonna ask him when he gets home. So this is also a New York Times bestseller. And let's see what this one's about. Following the twists and turns of an unimaginable crime, the widow is an electrifying debut. The widow, did I say the window before? It's the widow. I'm an idiot. Okay, so it looks like her husband was committed of a crime and she just stood by his side the whole time. Now that her husband's dead, there's no reason to stay quiet. There are people who want to hear the story. Interesting. That sounds really interesting. I'm excited to read that one too. This one was $4. I like that he uh, got a bunch of female horror writers too. Oh no, The Journals of Eleanor Druce, My Investigation of the Kingdom Hospital Incident. I have this one already. This one he paid $6 for. So I have this one already, but that's okay. He obviously doesn't know every book that I own, nor have I actually read this. Eleanor Druce has always been interested in the paranormal, but her fascination intensifies after she has a near-death experience at Kingdom Hospital while visiting a childhood friend. And then she hears about weird occurrences at this Kingdom Hospital, so she feels compelled to investigate. Eleanor discovers that the hospital rests on the site of a textile mill that burned to the ground after the Civil War, Civil War killing many workers, including children laborers. So it says that these carefully kept journals trace Eleanor's investigation in Kingdom Hospital from the be beginning of her covert work up until its stunning and terrifying conclusion. The journals are a fascinating work providing insights into the very nature of the spirits that haunt the hereby after. So that's interesting. Maybe it's a sign that I should read the one that I have. I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. Maybe I'll just give it to someone. Also, these pages of books where they're uneven make me want to cry. I always feel like I'm going to get splinters touching them. I just, ugh, is any, does anybody else feel that way? So kind of a shame that you paid six bucks for it, but we'll find a good home. The next one is a New York Times bestseller, The Monsters of Templeton by Lauren Groff. And this one was $4, also has a quote from Stephen King on the back. It says, Lauren Groff's debut mo a novel, The Monsters of Templeton, is everything a reader might have expected from, a gift from this gifted writer and more. There are monsters, murderers, <laughs> My cat has been so loving lately, it's the weirdest thing. Are we actually friends now? Okay, so it looks like a an individual went back to the home that they were raised in that they swore they'd never go back to. As soon as she arrives, a prehistoric monster surfaces in Lake Your Hairs Everywhere, uh, Glimmer Glass, changing the very fabric of the town. And then somebody puts their archaeological skills to work digging for the truth about their lineage. She discovers the secrets 
of her family run deep. Okay, so it seems like he got all thrillers. I'm really interested which ones were in the thriller section and which were in the horror section. This one's $4. The front cover is beautiful. It looks just really awesome. So I'm interested for this one as well. And then the last one that we have here is Inferno, New Tales of Terror and the Supernatural, edited by Alan Datlow. So it looks like this is just an anthology. Yes, an anthology of different writers, which I'm always love. A few names that I recognize, so that's cool. Uh, 20 Original Tales of Terror. So that's really awesome. I'm excited to read this too. He did a pretty good job, other than this one, which I already have, but there's no way of, that he would have known that I have this novel because it's, it is a pretty random book. And actually my aunt gave this to me like years and years ago when I was a lot younger. So I'll have to give this to my friend who also likes reading creepy stuff. But other than that, <laughs> I'm a little sad because I wanted to do something for my other channel that I just needed kind of a book that I wasn't the most interested in, but these all seem really cool. I'm really excited for each of these. They seem like right up my alley of the things that I really want to read this year. I am really into mysteries right now. Uh, I just want a good mystery. I read a book that I got in my last haul and I thought it was about a girl that had gone missing and it was not at all like that and I was a little disappointed and right now I'm reading a book but it's not as mystery-esque as I thought it would be. So these I think will be really awesome to read for that. And then this one I'm excited to read just um, short stories and the cover is pretty creepy. I will uh, definitely check this out and let you guys know if it has anything to do with, I don't know, maybe like Dante's Inferno or stories about demons all or if it, they're just all over the place and that was just the title of the book. If you've read any of these, please let me know if you enjoyed them. I know this was a really small horror haul, but I thought I'd share it with you because I thought it would be kind of fun to go through them together. I'm pleasantly surprised at his picks. I thought, I thought he did a pretty good job, but that's it for today. Just a quick, short, easy video. Let me know down below what you guys are reading right now and I will see you on Thursday with another horror video and on Friday on my other channel if you're interested in that. My cat is being so adorable right now. Why are you so sweet now? So thank you so much for watching and I will see you Thursday with another horror video. Say bye, Morella. Oh, okay. <laughs> bye, guys.